is Kenya meets Rwanda. Rwanda meets Kenya. babies welcome back to another video in today's video you guys are going to get ready with me for my engagement pictures you guys already know first thing is first drink your water because your girl's skin has been breaking out and the reason why is because y'all I forgot to change my pillowcase and that is a no-go you should always change your pillowcase weekly at least weekly because I forgot this time and this is what I get so for brows I'm gonna start off by setting my brows with that beauty bakery setting powder and the pencil that I'll be using today is the NYX eyebrow pencil in the shade espresso I'm just going to fill those bad boy in and I'm also going to grab my LA Pro concealer in fun just to clean up my brows like so now if you guys did not know today is the release of the Fenty Beauty foundation girl I am about to go to Sephora right now actually after dropping this video so if you guys want to see a review on that let me know in the comment section because I will do one just let me know and I'll be it, it could be up tomorrow okay so these are the brows baby girl they done they on fleek they look good so for serum today, I am grabbing the Milk Watermelon Brightening Serum and I am just going to use this all over my face because even though my face is breaking out on the side of my face, it's been dry too. So I've been really prepping my skin a lot more before my foundation and all that good stuff because I need the hydration as much as I can get it, I need it, okay? So for under eye cream, I'm grabbing this Haldi Eye Brightening Eye Cream by Fasali. I've been loving this product. It's been my favorite go-to. You guys know I told y'all I change between this one and the Milk. Those are two of my favorites so far. So for foundation primer, I'm grabbing my hands-down favorite primer at the moment. And this is the Milk Hydro Primer. This primer is so freaking good. It's been good to me all summer. It's one of my favorite primers because girl your makeup is not coming off or it's not melting when you use this primer it's just amazing it has like a sticky feeling to it once you you know blend it into your skin but I love that feeling because it makes my makeup well foundation have something to stick on so I am going to be trying something new and this is the Fasali jelly bean um, if you guys know this was a thing a while ago I'm just super late to it for Sarley was kind enough to send me a PR so I'm able to use this product but before I was like what what is the point of this um, so I went ahead and just used this all over my face to give myself like a underglow kind of thing to be honest I think that is definitely pointless I didn't see the point of that I seen this girl do it on Instagram and it looked beautiful on her but then I was like how come it's not looking anything you know special on me um, so I would definitely have to say I recommend this product to be used on top of your makeup other than under your foundation depending on what kind of foundation you're going in with so for me I went ahead and used Huda Beauty Huda Beauty is super full coverage it's not meant for something like this because it's way too co full coverage I would rather use this product with something like the Pat McGrath something super light kind of thing I think it would look super super flawless but other than that it still looked beautiful I just feel like it was kind of pointless you, you know what I'm saying but so for foundation, now like I said, I used the Huda Beauty and now I'm concealing with the LA Pro Concealer in Fawn. Huda Beauty is an amazing foundation. It is just too full coverage. I haven't used it in a while. Um, you guys only see me use it on camera because I don't use it as much it's way too full coverage but because this was my engagement pictures I wanted my face to be really full coverage because I was doing pictures I would recommend this foundation for picture friendly but if you have it and you love it good for you I don't hate it I just feel like it's way too full coverage um, and I just feel like I have a cake face on me and I don't want to feel like that you know what I'm saying um, but it's still a beautiful beautiful flawless foundation so I'm just blending everything in like so and for contouring I went ahead and grabbed this KK Beauty concealer in the shade 16 I love this shade because it's a little bit red um, lately in the summer I love the red undertone kind of thing because um, it just looks very bronzy but in the winter I'm definitely going to use this less than I have been using it in the summer I don't like the red look in the winter um, just because you know we all get that our skin color back you know the tan goes away so I love this when I get a tan and it just looks more flawless like that so I'm just blending it in like so um, yeah just blend that bad boy in making sure my forehead looks really snatched my nose looks snatched 
snatched um all of that good stuff um yeah so i hope you guys are having a good day today is thursday girl i do not believe that today is thursday like what 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 thursday already it's crazy and tomorrow's friday so i hope y'all week is going good so far um so now i'm just setting my face with the beauty bakery setting powder and translucent i have put this product down for a while and i'm upset with myself so i'm gonna have to be using it a lot more i know i love the opv but that one is a freaking good setting powder as well so to set where i contoured i went ahead and grabbed the mented cosmetics um season one bronzer you guys know i love mented i did speak to one of my subscribers at ulta we had a good conversation and i told her you know get your hands on the mented try it out it's a beautiful beautiful bronzer i won't be lying honey okay so for eyeshadow i went ahead and grabbed this ace beauty eyeshadow palette and i grabbed that nutmeg eyeshadow and just blend that into my crease as a transition shade i builded this eyeshadow up so then it could you know appear more because on the pan it's a little too light so yeah so then i grabbed that cinnamon eyeshadow and it's just a really light brown but on the eyes it does not look light brown at all and i just blend that a little bit lower into my crease as well so then i grabbed that rose wood eyeshadow and i just took a little slimmer brush to get into that crease a little bit more this is just going to um define that crease a lot more because my dress was like a lot of colors on it i wanted to put a little bit of purple into that eyeshadow look so yeah so then I grabbed that really pretty gold eyeshadow it's not even a gold it's more of like a darker gold eyeshadow and just work this all over my eyelids um, so if you guys have not yet seen me in juniors engagement picture it is on my Instagram my Instagram it will be linked in the description box so make sure you check that out show me some love I really loved how everything turned out especially my makeup everything just went together and that's how I wanted my engagement pictures to be so yeah so then I grabbed that black eyeshadow and just work that into the outer corner of my eye I did not want to bring it too high up I just wanted to keep it on the outer corner smoke this eyeshadow up a little bit more and then I also popped some really natural eyelashes and these are cocoa lashes and goddess so for eyeliner pencil I went ahead and grabbed this Milani eye pencil in the shade black and just work this underneath my water lash line and then I also grabbed that super pretty uh, gold eyeshadow and it's called amber and just pop that in the inner corner of my eye to bring this look all together like so so then after that I started smoking out my water lash line with the same eyeshadows I used on my eyelids I used the rose wood eyeshadow as well as that black eyeshadow just to smoke that all out um, y'all I just loved I don't know what it is I loved how everything turned out this look was not too dramatic but it was like dramatic enough you know you know what I'm saying so for mascara I went ahead and grabbed my favorite drugstore mascara and this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the shade Black. I love this mascara. I love the wand for my under eye lashes. Not for my top, but my under eyes. It's amazing. So for a highlight, I'm going to grab my favorite highlighter at the moment. And this is the Dose of Color um, Highlighter. Desi X Katie in the shade Chasing the Sun. Beautiful highlight. It just looks like skin melts in so amazing throughout the day. So it's going to look so freaking beautiful. Um, you guys should try it out. It's an amazing highlighter. I, I cannot, I cannot deal with this highlighter. So I'm just blending everything all in and then I'm going to set everything with the Dewy Setting Spray by Anastasia. So I was watching another influencer and she said Anastasia is Anastasia Anastasia I don't even know am I saying this woman's name wrong like I'm like I don't know okay we need to know we need to find out that's what we need to do Esther we need to get together okay let's not make anybody's name sound funny out here so for lips I went ahead and grabbed this lip pencil and this is a chestnut lip pencil by Mac and for lip gloss I am grabbing my favorite lip gloss and this is the Juvia's Place X Fumi lip gloss um, it is a beautiful nude it's perfect for my skin tone it's gonna be perfect on any skin tone actually it's bomb it's just it okay so this is it for the glam I wanted to keep it very soft flirty beautiful hair is curly everything just looks perfect in my opinion I loved how everything looks um so yeah girl for my dress honey I had to go extra okay <laughs> this is engagement pictures okay this is Kenya meets Rhonda Rhonda meets Kenya ah oh oh that actually sounded pretty good but y'all I went literally so ham with this dress it's so beautiful I hope you guys love it I will 
will leave the link to the designer who designed this dress i cannot believe she brought that dress to life oh i love it you guys as usual i love you guys so so much and i'll pin a sana and i'll see you guys in my next video bye